Join us on the trip to the Big Island of Hawaii to see an interesting symbiotic relationship as turtles try to keep it clean. Welcome to Puoko, Hawaii. Puoko is a small beach community located on the west coast of the island of Hawaii, the Big Island. Puoko has a population of about 429 and has become a prime residential area. Right now, we are on our way to 56 Puoko Beach Road, a public access for a popular dive site. Puoko Reef is designated a marine protected area and is a favorite destination for locals and tourists. It is also a very important foraging habitat for one of the most astonishing sea creatures, the Hawaiian Green Sea Turtle, or as Hawaiians like to call it, the Honu. In the shallows, subadult and juvenile Honu can often be seen foraging on turf algae, also known as limu, that grows on the intertidal rocks. During high tide, they are often grouped together, feeding in favorite areas. Now to the subject of our trip. Under the water, Puoko becomes a completely different world. This Puoko is a 5 km stretch of submerged lava platform, bordered by coral reefs. It is home to a wide variety of sea creatures, such as the playful Goren Kole and the hard-working Yellow Tang. Other inhabitants of the area range from the docile sea cucumber to the ferocious tiger shark. Puoko, however, is also the site of the underwater marvel and our main topic, the turtle cleaning station. A cleaning station is a particular region of the reef where critters come to be cleaned by some species of cleaner organisms, such as crustaceans or fish. In other words, a cleaning station is much like a car wash, except that people are replaced with these cleaner organisms, and cars are replaced in this case by turtles. At Puoko, there are three known cleaning stations, where turtles go to be groomed. This particular cleaning station is located in 10 meters of water, approximately 400 meters from shore. At this site, there are four main types of cleaner fishes. The white bar surgeon fish, the yellow tang, the pale nosed parrot fish, and the gold ring cole. The yellow tang and gold ring cole are the most abundant. The area of the cleaning station is visited by Honu from as far away as 1.5 kilometers, and they usually come in from the reef platform side of the station. As soon as a Honu enters the confines of the cleaning station, cleaner fishes begin to converge on it. As this occurs, the Honu slows down and may begin to do one of three poses. The first pose is the swimming pose. In a swimming pose, the turtles use their pectoral fins minimally to maintain their level in the water column. Their necks are often stretched out to facilitate cleaning in that region. The yellow tang usually focuses on soft tissue, while the gold ring coli concentrates on flat continuous surfaces, such as the carapace. On average, there are 8 cleaner fishes cleaning a specific turtle, however, there can often be so many that the honu is nearly hidden from view. While on a swimming pose, a turtle may try to steal the cleaner fishes of another turtle by simply swimming over it. Naturally, the cleaner fishes stick with the dirtier turtle. In a stationary pose, the turtle sticks to the bottom and that elevates its body on the tips of its pectoral fins to provide access for those hard to reach places that cleaner fishes would otherwise have trouble getting to. As in the swimming pose, its neck is often stretched out. Here is a good example of how the cleaning process occurs. The cleaner fish has scraped the surface on which the algae is growing. You can clearly see the spots where the turtle has been cleaned.
Sometimes, the turtles come to the cleaning station to rest. In these cases, the turtle swims into one of the caves on Porco's Basin and simply sleeps. However, cleaner fishes cannot resist the temptation and continue to clean. We call this unsolicited cleaning. Some turtles don't know whether to rest or to get cleaned, so they do a resting pose. Not very attractive, but probably partially effective. Turtles also engage in other activities while at the cleaning station. A very popular one is to swim down to one of the underwater caves and rub their bodies against the rocks in order to get rid of that long-lasting itch that has been bothering them. While the turtle cleaning station is normally a congenial place, there are rare occasions where our friendly Hono become aggressive. In this case, two of our regular visitors have a little fight over territory. The turtle on the right has an issue with the sleeping turtle on the left. It's 14 hours. The displaced turtle doesn't give in though, and delivers a savage head bite and reclaims his alcove. In round two, the aggressor returns for another shot and seemingly wins the battle. However, the rightful owner bravely returns to deliver the coup de grace and drives the offender off. The cleaning station is busiest during the 11 to 1 midday period, and cleaning rarely occurs after 4 p.m. Honu coming to the cleaning station spend an average of 29% of their time swimming, 41% posing, 24% resting, and 6% shifting on rocks. The most effective behavior for attracting cleaners is a swimming pose. Eventually, the cleaning episode comes to an end, and our Honu will begin to ascend to the surface for a breath. If you ever have the opportunity to visit a turtle cleaning station, you will certainly be enthralled as we were by the symbiotic relationship between the graceful reef fish and the astonishing Honu. It will be an unforgettable underwater experience.